Hello class, it's great to be back with you. We're just getting close to wrapping up this semester and so I wanted to make a quick video uh, to just walk you through kind of wrapping up uh, your big project and uh, what you're going to need to be doing for your final presentation and your final project report. Um, this should be a fairly brief video. Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of reviewing a few things that you've seen before and it's it's been in Canvas since the beginning of the semester and I even talked about it a little bit in videos at the beginning of the semester and you've been of course meeting with your team throughout the semester working on all of this um, so none of this should be any big surprise to you but I just want to make sure we're crystal clear on everything and uh, and so I'm just gonna walk through this real quick and then of course please let me know if and when your team has questions as you're just wrapping things up over the next couple of weeks uh, so first of all um, you have already done your draft presentation um, that was submitted a week, week and a half ago, um, and I've provided feedback on your draft presentation. You'll also be receiving feedback from your uh, peers through the peer evaluation process uh, sometime this week. So please take into account all of the feedback that you're getting from your peer reviews as well as uh, from me uh, as you're working to refine your presentation and get it really polished and professional and ready to uh, do for your client. Uh, as you're doing that, um, here I'm just in the assignment view uh, for the final project presentation. This looks just like it did for the draft presentation in terms of um, what's expected in the presentation as well as what's in the rubric. Uh, so again, there shouldn't be any surprise here, um, but uh, please make sure you double check your content against what I'm expecting um, your presentation to include. So you're going to start with a project overview and recap of the project scope, priorities, the timeline, the deliverables. You're going to talk about the data collection method, methodology and process um, and what you found from the data. Uh, briefly overview any of the materials uh, that, and the resources that your team created as a part of the project. The, the tangible things that you might be able to give them that they can use, uh, results and any recommendations that you have. And remember, with the result, with the uh, recommendations rather, um, you're gonna, you can have general recommendations, but then you should have a separate section specifically for project assessment and evaluation plan recommendations and OD project sustainability plan recommendations. Uh, in the draft presentations, some of the teams had that and some of the teams didn't. Uh, and most of the teams, even if they had it, they could be a little bit more specific. Um, and so don't, um, don't shortcut on that. Um, th these are all the recommendations, those last three bullets, um, the general recommendations, the, the assessment and evaluation plan and the sustainability plan recommendations, those are all really important, um, just as important as any deliverables that you've created for the client over the course of the semester. So uh, don't skimp on that. Make sure that you spend plenty of time on that. Overall, your final presentation will probably be in the 10 to 12 minute range. Uh, it can be a little bit longer. Um, I would suggest not making it shorter though. Uh, you have a lot of content to cover in that presentation. And if your presentation only ends up being five or six minutes, um, frankly, I just don't know how you can cover everything uh, in, enough, in enough depth. Um, so make sure that you're taking the time to really go through um, in more detail um, than maybe you did in your draft presentation. Now with your final project presentations, you have three options on how you deliver this to the client. One, you can schedule a face-to-face -face time with the client where the team goes and you just do a presentation to the client, just like uh, you've probably done in other classes. Um, that's totally okay. And if you do that, I would just ask that you record that session and then send me the recording um, so that I can see it. Um, but I'll also get uh, an evaluation form from your client at the end of the semester so I can get their feedback on how you did. Um, so, so I'll be able to get both of those that way. Um, but you're, you're more than welcome to do face-to-face -face presentation. Um, but I also understand this is an online class, and so if you can't get the team together to do a face-to-face -face presentation with the client, option two is to schedule uh, a video call. Um, you can use Zoom, you can use Google Hangouts, you can use any of the platforms. There's many options available. The same types of um, technologies you've been using for your team meetings every week would probably be just fine. Um, and you can schedule a meeting where it's a live meeting with the client. 
um, but you're doing it virtually over uh, the internet through a video call and you can still walk through your presentation live um, through the through the internet um, and then uh, you'll take time uh, to answer questions to to, um, to discuss and let uh, answer questions that the client might have uh, and and take more time after you're done with your 10 to 12 minute presentation um, so that'd be option two uh, is is live video call option three is that you just record your presentation just like you did for the draft you can just record it send it to the client uh, and then schedule a follow-up phone call or video conference call where you can talk about it, discuss it, answer questions. I'm totally fine with any three of those options. Um, just make sure that if you do the first two options that you record the, the live presentation or the video uh, conference call um, and send that to me. Or if you just do, um, if you just uh, uh, take a video of your presentation and send that to the client, uh, send that to me. Uh, and then make sure you schedule that follow-up call with them so you can answer their questions. Uh, again, all of the requirements are right here. Hopefully there's no um, surprises. Um, these are the types of things we've been discussing all semester um, in, in previous videos and in all the assignment materials and instructions. Uh, and hopefully at this point, you're just polishing and really getting things ready uh, to go so that you're ready to, to do it with your client. All right, now let me just click back. <clears throat> and go into the final project. So if I click on service learning final project, um, go in here, uh, and again here there's there's a description of uh, everything that goes into the project. This isn't new, you've seen this from the beginning of the semester, um, but then you can see the rubric and what should be included in the project. Now this, again, this shouldn't be any surprise and all of the elements that are in this final project report essentially will be in your presentation as well, but this pr final project report um, or white paper or however you want to term it, um, this um, will be a tangible physical document um, that you can give to the client uh, either literally physically by printing it out um, or by um, making sure it's all formatted nicely and then and sending it off uh, as a, an electronic document. Uh, you're going to start with the cover page. You're going to have a one to two page executive summary. Um, and an executive summary, you should know this from your other business classes, but an executive summary is a brief overview of the entire report. So the idea is a, a busy executive can pick up a big report, they can open it up, they can read that one to two page summary of the entire report, and they can get the gist of everything that's included in there. Uh, and then they can go into the report to find all the details for different questions they may have or the different sections they want to dig into or whatever. So you put together your entire report and then make sure once you're done with the entire report, you go back, you write a one to two page executive summary. Um, this should be professionally formatted, just like you would do the rest of the report. Uh, make sure it's readable, accessible, use headings, uh, make sure it's a scannable um, you know, they, sh they should be able to look over the page and find the elements that they're interested in very quickly. So it shouldn't just be running paragraphs. Um, there should be short paragraphs. It should use headings and subheadings, uh, all those types of things you've learned in your business communications courses and you've done in your other um, project courses. There will be a project overview recap. Again, this is where you're going to be, just like in your presentation, look at the project scope, priorities, timeline, deliverables, all those sorts of things where you provide a brief recap on that. Then you'll get into the description of the data collection methodology and process, a uh, brief overview of any of the materials and resources that your team created for them. Um, the actual materials or resources that you created for them, you can then put into an appendix at the end of the report but for this section of the report you're just going to talk about what you did and what you created for them uh, and reference the appendix if if you have materials there um, then you're going to get into your results and recommendations the assessment and evaluation plan the project sustainability plan and then all the appendices um, that you can include um, you'll include your original completed project proposal that you did at the beginning of the semester so that will go in an appendix um, you'll do individual timesheets for all team members and a summary timesheet for the entire team. So there should be one page for each team member where you summarize everything you did for this project. Um, but then you should have one page where it also just com compiles and summarizes the total hours um, of all team members overall for the entire project. Um, you'll have an appendix for all the, the materials and resources that your team created. 
uh, an appendix of the copy of the final presentation PowerPoint slides, uh, an appendix, um, you know, if as appropriate, uh, any additional detailed data analysis. For example, if you have um, uh, comments, open-ended open question comments uh, from people who completed a survey or things like that that maybe you don't get into in the body of your paper, um, but you can you can include more detail in the appendix. Again, ass assuring that it's anonymous, right? That you're not outing um, any particular team member or a respondent um, who did the survey. Um, uh, okay. Um, then, of course, I'll also be looking for clarity of your overall um, report and spelling, grammar, just all those sorts of things. Three, all those points uh, total add up to 300 points for your final project. Um, you'll upload that um, to Canvas. Um, you'll send it to me, of course, but once I look at it, I'll give you some feedback. Um, and I just ask that you wait to send this off to the client until you have first received feedback from me. With, uh, I, I hope that the, what you submit me is just super polished and it's ready to go, everything's good, and then I can just say, this looks great, send it off to the client. But um, sometimes I do have feedback, just like with your project proposals at the beginning of the semester, where I'll ask you to do certain things before you send it to them. Um, so uh, just make sure that you, you wait for my feedback before you send the final um, project report to the client. Um, you don't necessarily have to receive my feedback on the client report before you schedule your final presentation with the client or the follow-up meeting with the client, though I would suggest that. So, so for example, you can do your final presentation anytime this week or next week. Um, the semester ends next Thursday. So as long as you do it anytime before next Thursday, that's fine. Um, but if you schedule it, for example, for this week and you want to just get it done, that's okay. But I would ask that you get your report in too, because ideally what will happen is you'll send me the report. I can give you feedback. You can make any changes. Then you can go and have that final meeting with the client where you can give them the report. They can look it over, ask their questions. You do the presentation. You do the Q&A, all of that to, to wrap everything up for the semester. Um, and if, if you wait to submit the final project report until next week, but you're trying to do the presentation this week, um, it's possible and depending on the client's availability, that might be what you have to do. Um, but obviously that's not as ideal because they won't have the full report in front of them that they can refer to um, as they're having discussion with you. So keep that in mind as you wrap things up uh, this week. Uh, I think that pretty much um, summarizes everything that you need to be keeping in mind with your team as you're going through the end of the semester and finishing up your project. Remember also though um, that you will be submitting uh, an individual time log in the time log assignment. So not only will it show up in your final report, but each of you individually should submit it um, in the time log assignment as well. Um, also, once you finish the final report and you do your final presentation, um, you will then also be doing your um, group evaluation forms. Uh, so remember to make sure you do that. Um, that's where you will evaluate yourself and evaluate your team members on quality and quantity of contributions throughout the semester on the team project. Um, and then I look at that um, and look for patterns across teams, you know, about who's contributing and who, who uh, any potential issues and those sorts of things. And then that comes in along with your site evaluation where your client will evaluate your project also um, and all that comes into this 150 points for your project site and group evaluation portion of the project um, so don't forget to do that uh, make sure that you just get all these things completed over the next uh, two weeks um, please don't hesitate to let me know if and when you have any questions. Uh, I'm here and I'm available. Um, we can set up a team meeting if you would prefer to have a chance to chat with me. Um, or we can just communicate by email or, or you can stop by my office. So don't be a stranger. Um, I want to see you guys finish strong and really knock this out of the park um, so that your client is just thrilled with, uh, with the outcome of the semester and the project that you did for them. So finish strong, uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to seeing all your final um, presentations and final reports. Thanks.